We're going to look now in this video at the gradient of a curve. So differentiation is a measure of the rate of change. And when we differentiate a function dy over dx, it actually tells us how the function is changing. And you should recall that the rate of change of a curve is given by the gradient of the tangent at that point on the curve. So dy over dx tells us a gradient of, of a function for any value of x. Okay, uh, add in to your notes here, please, that dy by dx is the gradient function. Okay, if you go back to the first video I did on differentiation, video one, you'll see I differentiated three, uh, uh, three equations. I differentiated y is equal to seven. I differentiated it and I got dy by x equals zero. I differentiated y equals seven x and I got dy by x equals 7, and I differentiated x squared. Now go through that wee bit of the video where I differentiated x squared, and your dy by x was equal to 2x. Now that's because for your uh, x squared graph, the gradient is not constant, it changes. So dy by x equals 2x was a gradient function. If we look at this one here, if you look at this curve, the gradient is not constant. The gradient here is positive, and then it goes along, it levels off, it's going to 0 at some point and it goes down, it's negative, and then it goes to zero, and then it goes positive again. So this to me looks like a, a cubic function. So the gradient changes. So for this particular cubic function, if you find dy by dx, that would give you the gradient. And as it says here, it will tell dy by, dy by dx tells us the gradient of the tangent at a point on the curve. We're going to go on and look at a couple of examples now on this. Okay, first example here says find the gradient of the tangent to these curves at the given point. So the first thing you've got to do is find your dy by dx, or as I'm going to call it from now on, your gradient function. So dy by dx is just going to differentiate your 2x squared, is going to give you 4x. Now, just say a wee word in mathematics makes all the difference. And just say when x equals 5, dy by dx equals 4 upon 5. So dy by dx is equal to 20. So what we found here, folks, for this curve, when your x is equal to 5, the gradient is equal to 20. Right, uh, you don't have to put this in your notes, but if I did a sketch of this thing, y is equal to 2x very, very roughly looks like this. There's your y-axis, there's your x-axis, and you can see anywhere on this side, so anywhere where the x value would be z would be negative, it happens to be that the, the gradient would be negative as well. And anywhere on this side, so when the x values are positive, the gradient is positive as well. So if you imagine, say this was uh, x equals 5, if I did this tangent at that point, that line would have a gradient equal to 20. That's really what that means. You don't need to put this into your notes, but that's really what's going on here. That's what we've, we've told us. So when x equals 5 on your curve, y equals 2x squared, the gradient when x equals 5 would be equal to 20. Okay, same idea in this example. First thing we're going to do is differentiate. So if you differentiate, you're going to have, uh, that's going to be, sorry, that's going to be just 2x squared. So I got that. I multiplied my 2 over 3 by 3 to give me 2, and then x reduce the power of the x down by 1. Next one, a lot easier, it's just going to be 6x, then plus 5, and then minus 10 differentiated gives you 0. So, a wee word again in mathematics makes all the difference. So just say when x equals 0, dy by dx is equal to 2 times, and I'm just showing all my working outs here, 2 times 0 squared, minus 6 times 0 plus 5. And if you just think about it here, if you had 2 times 0, 0, it's 0 squared is going to be 0, 6 times 0 is going to be 0, so that's 0, minus 0, plus 5, so it just leaves you with plus 5. Okay, the problem we have with this, this one is we're not in index form. We always say get things into index form. So first thing we want to do is we're going to multiply out these brackets. I'm going to multi I'll multiply out the second pair of brackets. So I'm doing my x times my x, which gives me x squared. I'm doing my x times my minus 2, which gives me minus 2x. Give me a 1 times my x, which gives me x. And 1 times my minus 2, which gives me minus 2. So y equals x upon, tidy up inside the bracket, make life easier, 
x upon x squared minus x minus 2. Uh, my last step, just to get into the index form, is multiply it out completely. So multiply in through, multiply through by the x to give you x cubed minus whoop, x squared minus 2x. And then what we want to do is differentiate that. So if you differentiate that, what you're going to get is 3x squared minus 2x minus 2. Okay, it doesn't explicitly tell me what my x value is here, so we need to just have a wee bit of common sense. Uh, my x value here, this is at the point 10, 880. The x value is the important bit. So when x equals 10, dy by dx is equal to, and again we'll set this out very well here, that's going to be 3 times 10 squared minus 2 times the 10 minus 2. Um, why I use the brackets here, well the brackets are necessary anyway here, but if the brackets are definitely necessary, had that been a minus 10, minus 10, brackets minus 10, close your bracket, squared in your calculator will not mess things up. If you just hit in your calculator, minus 10 squared, it will give you minus 100, which is wrong. So very good practice just to use your brackets all the time. Then we'll just tidy it up. Uh, that would be 3 times 100 minus 2 times 10, which is going to be 20 minus 2. 300 minus 20 is going to be 280 minus another 2 is going to be 278. Okay, folks, as you can see, we are now ready to do exercise uh, 7A.